Hi! Welcome to day one of another week-long palette review. Today I'm going to be looking at the Laura Mercier Eye Artist palette, which I bought last year in the VIB sale, and by last year I mean like three months ago, and I just don't feel like I've gotten enough use out of it. I don't anticipate getting rid of this, so I'm not necessary unless I'm just like, this is the worst thing I've ever used, and I know that I don't think that, but I just really want to get more use out of it and make sure that I understand how it fits into my collection a little bit better, so this is what I'm going to be looking at today. It is currently 5.58, which means that I need to be ready to get up from this chair in about 10 minutes. So I'm going to do a pretty quick look. I'm going to start with Vanilla Nuts, which is this matte shade here. Let me swatch that on the back of my hand for you. You can see it's pretty much exactly the same shade as my skin. This is a little bit of concealer. Please ignore it. So I'm going to put that all over from my crease to my brow bone. I have already put on my Too Faced Shadow Insurance, so that's already ready. Next, I'm going to go in with Fresco, which is this shade here. Again, let me swatch that on the back of my hand. It is a warm-ish shade of brown. There you go. It is matte. It is very nice. I like it. It's a nice transition shade. It is a brown, but it's not too cool or too warm, really. It's kind of nicely in the middle. And I'm going to be using that as a transition crease shade. So in the crease and then pulling it up just a little bit. I want to use some of these purpley shades, which I haven't really used as much as I should have, and I'm going to go in with African Violet, because everyone says that this is just like the most iconic Laura Mercier shade. It does look a little bit powdery as I put it on my skin with this brush, but smoothing over it seems to be working okay, although I am getting some fallout down here, but the shade itself is so pretty. It's kind of a dusty purple with this beautiful gold overtone. Mm. But doing that gave me a fair amount of fallout, so something to be known there, I guess. And I'm going to put that on the outer half of my lid. It is so pretty. <laughs> Next I'm going to take Cur Royale, which is a little bit darker, but very similar. A little bit smokier of a purple. And I'm going to put that just a little bit in this outer corner here. That is a beautiful outer V shade. Then finally on the inner corner, I think I'm going to take Guava, which is a little bit of a pinky shade, but very shimmery and pretty. You probably can't, oh, uh, uh, there you go. There's a little bit of that shine right there. I'm going to take African Violet one more time all over the middle of the eye to make sure that everything else is blended well into it. Ooh, it is a powdery shade though, that's for sure. I just got some powder all over. I genuinely don't think that I have time for eyeliner, so I'm just going to put on mascara and be done. So there is the finished eye look for day number one. I feel like this is the kind of look that I will always go to first with this palette. Like this is the look that I bought this palette for with these beautiful purple tones. Just a little bit smoky, but definitely not overwhelming. I feel like it's so pretty, so flattering. So let's see what else I can do with it this week. It is day two with my Laura Mercier Eye Artist palette, and today I want to try something that is all neutral because I have done sort of purpley looks with this before, but I don't know if I have done a completely neutral eye. So this is Vanilla Nuts going on all over above the crease. I'm going to take, today let's take Truffle through the crease. Uh, here it is on my skin, so you can see a little swatch of it. It is darker, but I'm still very warm brown. This is against Fresco, which I used yesterday. So you can see them both. Today I'm going to take Truffle, though. And we're going to put that very lightly because it is quite a bit darker. Uh, let's actually kind of concentrate it on this outer portion of the eye now that I have it there. And then I'm going to take, actually I'm going to take Fresco, which is the other shade that I already swatched here, and I'm going to move that into the middle section of my eye. I think I just had my eye open while I put that on there and I got powder in my eye. It feels really weird. Those two shades blend together so perfectly, like they're meant to be best friends forever. And then I'm going to take a flat brush, and I'm going to take Primrose, which is this shade here. Let's see that one also. It is a little bit pinkier than the shade that I used yesterday, but still light and shimmery. Also still a little bit powdery. I'm going to take that into the center of my face, inner corner of my eye. 
I'm going to take a different blending brush and uh, it's more or less clean and I'm just going to run that through the crease to make sure that everything is blended out above. If I need to I can take a little bit of vanilla nut again since that's what I had already laid down. But really, that's all you need to do for this look. I'm going to put on eyeliner, mascara. I'll be back in one second. So there is a totally neutral look using that palette. I really like this, and it's so easy. It literally took me a minute and a half to put on the eyeshadow, and then I just threw on a winged liner because I was feeling a winged liner today. So there you go. My lipstick is Lolita 2 because, again, sort of something warm neutrally was what I was feeling today. I'm not really sure why, but that's where I went. And yeah, I mean, that was super simple. I didn't have any fallout. They all blended really easily. So I'm very, very happy with that. Today's a KU game, so I cannot wear purples because I think we might be playing K-State. I should probably know that. Either way, KU is not a purpley school, so I'm going to do another look using neutrals, but I'm gonna try and do something a little more interesting this time. As per usual, I'm going to be taking Vanilla Nuts all over above my crease. I have already primed my eyelids with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Taking my Sephora Pro Blending Brush, I'm going to take Truffle, which I know I just showed this to you, but I will show it to you again, is this sort of mid-tone warm brown, a little bit darker than Fresco though. I'm going to take that, tap off all the excess, and I'm going to take it in this outer corner on the lid, not in the crease, on the lid. And I'm going to take it into the inner corner as well Again, on the lid, not taking it too far into the crease at all. And then I am going to take it into the crease through the center of the eye. So bringing it upward just a little bit to connect those two together. I'm gonna do this to my brush so that it's clean. I'm going to go in with Fresco, which is the same kind of tone, but a little bit lighter. Tap off all the excess of that and take that along the edge there to make sure that's blended out. Make sure that's clean, go back in with Vanilla Nuts, blend out the top of that so that the top edge is completely smooth. Then I'm going to go in with a flat shadow brush and I'm going to take Bamboo. I don't know if I've swatched this one for you yet. This is the most beautiful color. It's not lighter, but it is way shimmerier, more shimmery. It's so pretty, I love this color. And I'm going to be taking that into the center where I didn't have anything before. And then just to make sure that it's bright enough, once again, wiping this off, turning this over, I'm going to go in with Sparkling Dew, and then take that just onto the very, very center, an even smaller area, blending out the edges just a tiny bit. Going with a clean bl blending brush all through the crease to make sure that that's all as smooth as possible. Let me go ahead and finish the other eye and I will be right back to show you the finished look. I want to smudge just a little bit of espresso ink in as a liner. Let me show you how dark this is. It's a really nice shade, very neutrally cool brown. I like it a lot. So I'm just going to take it on the edge of this brush and really make sure that I tap off all the excess and just smudge it right along the edge really softly just to give myself a little bit of just to give myself a little bit of definition on those eyes again very very softly just right here on the underside very softly like that Pretty. So there is the finished eye look. This is probably about as dark as I would go on a random weekday when I'm teaching, but I do really like it. This is the new Clinique uh, mascara, by the way, and it is super wet, but once you totally wipe the brush off, it's acceptable. I'm really excited to use it in like a month when it started to dry up a little bit and it's not quite so wet, but right now it's very new. So I tend to have that problem. I just prefer drier formulas, so. Anyway, um, I really like this look, and I think it's interesting that these are the only colors that I used when none of these, like, I didn't even use that one. It's really only the bottom one that looks dark, but on my eye, it looks a lot more smoky than these colors look, so I think that's something for me to keep in mind. Darker colors are even darker on my eyes, I think. So I really, really like it. It's just a little bit much, maybe, for a normal daytime look. Thursday of this palette, I got a new lens. So I'm going to come a little closer, and we're going to try that out. If it looks really horrible, I'm very sorry, but 
Newland's Growing Paints, so stay with me. I have already primed my eyes with Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and I'm going to go in yet again with Vanilla Nuts. How can I get that to you? This one. Vanilla Nuts, and I'm going to take that all over above my crease. I don't even know why I bother telling you this, because it's what I do literally every single time that I do my eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to go in with Plum Smoke, this shade here. I'm going to take that on just a fluffy crease brush. I'm taking that into the crease, which makes sense, I think, considering I have it on a crease brush, except that I do lots of things with this crease brush. I should just shut up now. I'm concentrating that a little bit on the outer corner, but I'm also trying to bring it in throughout the whole crease, almost all the way to the inner corner. And I'm trying to keep that very blended on the top side so I don't have to do too much blending later. Now I'm going to go in with violet ink on a small pencil brush. I'm going to start working that into this outer corner and connecting it down to the lash line using very small strokes, trying to blend it as I go. Now I'm going to start connecting it into the lash line just a little bit here on the outer edge. Hopefully I'll be able to just use this as eyeliner and not have to put on any actual eyeliner. Again, trying to use short strokes that are just barely touching the skin to start blending it so that it's very soft. And then I'm going to take Sparkling Dew on a finger and just tap that over the rest of the lid. And then going in with a clean blending brush to blend out that top edge and blend it into the purple. So there's the finished eye look for today. I really like this look. It's just the tiniest bit dramatic, but because it's still so light across the whole lid, I think it's super wearable. I'm really excited to wear this. I think I might be done using this palette just because I get so bored so fast, you guys, but four days in, I am absolutely convinced that this palette is totally beautiful, completely wearable. You can do so many things with it. This is a truly gorgeous palette. I absolutely am so glad that I have it in my life. I'm so glad they brought it back. It was a limited edition a couple years ago and then everyone was so sad they missed it. So they brought it back this year. I think it's about permanent. It's gorgeous, but it is permanent. It's not going away. You're not in a hurry to get it. I think if you have these colors in your life already, then you don't need them. But if you know that you love these colors, you use them constantly. Maybe you want a purple and neutrals in one big palette. I think this is an excellent purchase. I am very glad to have it in my collection and I will definitely be keeping this. So thank you for watching this week's palette review of the Laura Mercier Eye Artist palette. It is absolutely gorgeous. I don't think I actually talked about the packaging, but it's like soft on the top and really excellent quality and it, it has a huge mirror. I've been using this mirror to do my makeup with it. And then this is a magnet here so it stays shut. So I feel totally confident traveling with this. It's beautiful. I love it. The shadows blend incredibly well. Oh my god, so well. It's insane. Absolutely adore them. So there are my thoughts. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you again next time. Bye!